Hello, gent and gentuses, and all you other beautiful beings of the world wide web. And welcome to another exciting episode of Diablo 3 Adventures of Adriel. Uh, this is probably like, oh god, part 13 or something? Question mark? I can't have but notice that my uh, little, little lady character there, Adriel, is uh, holding a sword quite large. How often can she attack? Pretty often. Not a problem. All right, let's go kick some butt. For these woods. Must we slog through them? Yes. Yes, we must. Just like I must strike pillars because I like the way they crumble. Are these Alaric's people? No, these are malevolent spirits. No. No, they're not. No resistance. Oh my God! I do so much damage. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead. But they gain their fortitude through horrific me. Repel them, my brothers! Uncle Deckard called these flying creatures death with wings. I hit so hard. I hit so hard! Alright. Uh, L. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead, but they gain their fortitude through horrific means. Feasting upon human corpses. These creatures are least dangerous while eating, but do not disturb them, or it shall be your limbs between their teeth. Meteor, blizzard, or arcane hydra. I kind of like the hydra, though. I'm just saying, I must still have that beautiful ability. What is this? Familiar? Magic weapon, electrify. No, I'm good, thanks. And then, we got a new one here. What do we got? Illusionist! When you take more than 15% of your maximum life in damage within one second, the cooldown on your mirror image, slow time, and teleportation are reset. Holy crap! When you use um, mirror image, slow time, or teleportation, your movement speed is increased by 30% for three seconds. God dingus! To be where you are in the wise is the wisest strategy. To be where y you are not is the wisest of strategies. Okay. Um, I'm not having an issue of energy right now, so maybe I'll turn it to illusionist for a little while. Because that seems like an oh shit button Stay. if I ever saw one. Yes. All right. Also, list ghoul scoundrel. I thought I'd have more. If I'd have like skeletal archers or the ghost wraith things or something. Oh well. Oh my god, they have fast! But I have slows! Need more time. Pushki. Okay. Whatever. Boshke, boshke, boshke. Okay, I might change that back for the time being. As nice as it is, I think I should be able to manage, and I need to have a reasonable amount of magic energy to maintain. I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. This brings back memories. There are so many places that we could explore together, Leah. That's not exploration. It's a rescue mission. Hey -o. I don't even know how old he is. But, uh... Eh, he's gotta be, like... 19 or so. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Um... What was I saying? I need the, the energy to, to get rid of, uh... Smaller, like, large groups of enemies. Because, you know... They're nasty. Alaric says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I've uh, engaged a tyrannical horror with her. Oh, there you go. Poison, enchant, and waller. Well, 
Didn't last long, did it? What did I get? This looks dangerous. You remove that artifact, then hand it to me for safekeeping. Right. When this is over, I could open my own little inn somewhere. If I live. I don't think that life is for me. Well, if you ever want a job, I will consider your credentials. So kind. Aw, they're, they're tote sisters. They get along so well. I hit so hard now. And this is on a high difficulty setting too. It's all it's nice, it's kinda nice like because there's some there's certain times where if you play on a high difficulty setting, especially with friends, just enemies take forever to kill. Forever. Five ever. Especially tougher mobs, it's the <laughs> But um, you know, if you're playing single player and you're not good weapon, you can still take care of the bad news relatively quickly. So I I guess it's kind of like how do you balance it? Oh god, oh god, oh that's not good. Oh. I don't like things that can phase through walls. And have enchant! Oh, that's painful. Okay, can that go away, please? Awesome. Um, I keep forgetting what I'm gonna say. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna focus on this for right now. Uh, damage into the vitality. It's pretty good. But it's not an ep it's not an epic, so. I'll keep it for a little while and see if I can get anything to go with it. But I guess uh, with, it just, with this difficulty setting, it's interesting to try and match, um, like, you know, how tough the enemies are and kind of keep up a fast pace. Because, I mean, no one would want to play the higher settings if it was like, just a total grind. If mobs were like, oh my god, I can't kill anything, like the smallest mob takes me forever to kill. Because, you know, you gotta you gotta maintain a certain amount of flow, that sort of thing. So it's nice, it's, it's interesting to try and balance, like, okay, where is it too easy, and I'm just destroying everything to the point of when, when is it not hard enough. And I think definitely with um, the DPS class, as opposed to, like, the tanks, kind of healers and stuff like that, like, um, Barbarians and, and Crusaders can be more tank-like. Um, the the squishy classes, it's kind of like, yeah, you can still do a lot of damage and kill things pretty fast, but if you take a couple hits, you're you're gonna be feeling the hurt pretty fast. Hey, how do you? Why got nothing on me? You ain't got nothing. I destroyed all the pillars in this area, so that's good. That's great. That is great. What? Where are they coming from? I don't understand! This is forming out of the broken pillars. Am I spawning them by destroying the pillars? Like, what's going on? What is going on here? Bless, bless, bless. Oh man! Oh, oh no! Your grave awaits. Oh no! I'm I'm getting close to a really nasty part of the game. In fact, yeah. This you want to open. The world is so dangerous. Everybody needs a quiet, safe place to rest and recover. A way station on their journeys. You must make your own safe. And I will. Ah, uh, yeah, it's oh, it's it's a nasty, it's a nasty dark place with lots of assassin-like enemies, and it's going to be hella painful, hella painful. 
to get through it. Just, just keep leveling, man. Like nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me from leveling. Just every 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 episode, I gotta level these ones. Okay, black ice. That isn't that alcohol. Isn't that like a beer? I know because I worked in, in the liquor store for a while. Uh, slain enemies of a patch of ice that uh, damages enemies. But it's not good against bosses or, or elite mobs, and that's the real danger. I don't know. What's this? Frozen mist. Froze. Frost. Froze Nova. Frost Nova no longer freezes enemies, but leaves behind mist that damages enemies. No, no longer freezes enemies. That's its purpose, is to freeze enemies. God damn it. Energy armor. Increase your armor at the cost of decreasing your maximum arcane power while en 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 energy armor is active. I don't think I want that. I think I want my familiar for right now. Even though I don't even know how much damage my familiar does. It could be just on smoke break the whole time. Or glitter break or whatever it is a floating speck would do. And I wouldn't even know. I would just... It's shooting. I, I've, I've only now noticed that it actually shoots with me wherever I shoot. I didn't notice that before. I just didn't pay any attention to it. I was like, I'm assuming it's doing damage every now and again. And I'm just going to roll with that it's doing damage. I'm just going to assume that everything is hunky-dory. How much time do I have? Oh, I'm good. Crypt of the Ancients. Oh, nuts. Black clouds and thunderbolts. It's the guys that spawn skeletons. It reminds me of being a child and searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Decker. Such a relief that you're all grown up now. At least one of us is. I have to wonder. If this reminds you of childhood, a uh, creepy crypt excavation with a magic crypt of skeletons and skeletal sorcerers. How did you guys get around? Like, listen, I know you got your bows and arrows, but there's no way you could deal out enough DPS to kill this guy. Or these guys, like this many dudes, without, you know, getting beat up a little bit. Maybe you're just tougher than I thought. Oh! Wait, of course, you have that crazy power that you're telling me about. That's right. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I was like, how do you I kill anything? A better bow than you'd like, Leah. By stealing it? Does it matter? It does to some. How strange. I can have that when you're done. Right. How peculiar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Shit. Shit. Balls. That's the worst. It's arrows plus mortar. Class electrocution! Get out of here! Mortar sucks for me. It really does. It's just the worst. They're like, I'm fine, no really, and then everything just everything becomes horrible. Really fast. Get out of here! Nobody has time for that. Good rubber? Cool. We were so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall. Well, that's a pessimistic outlook. No wonder you died. Jeez. Everyone's always like, I'm physically able and I don't have any stab wounds or anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Like, you could have walked a few t paces to the exit. The skeletons are actually really slow, so you can literally just run by them. Uh, skeletal archers, you just gotta strafe a little bit. Or have a slow time. Do you have a slow time, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hubberman? No? Oh, then you're kind of screwed, aren't you? That's one. Those who possess the beacons of light and honor. They enter our holy temple. Use them on the pedestals. The temple is open. Enter and defeat the guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death when you enter. Well, 
that's unfortunate for them. Uh -oh. Just nailing them. Bush, 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 bush. Rise, my brothers. Rise and do battle. And do battle. Oh, nuts. Oh, there's a there is a word there apparently. Unbeknownst to me, it was a wall. That sucks. What up? What, homie? What is up? What is up? Pick, pick this and the other thing. Boom. Boom. All right. Guardians down. Now, in case you're wondering, a lot of people may have commented on how this is really easy looking and stuff like that. I would just like to say I'm actually pretty good at Diablo. As a point of fact. Aside from that, um, I'm being quite careful in, like, I'm, I'm building my rotations so that I'm not getting screwed over too much. Since if I die once, I'm kind of gone forever. And it's, the, the fear of that equalizes. I assure you, because when you get close to like almost death on hardcore mode, you just, your fingers just literally hit the entire keyboard and you're like, DO SOMETHING! The world stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die. But not before she is sent back to the burning hells. Hm. Your strength rivals that of our greatest champions. What now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred place. Okay, it's it's basically a room with some water flowing over the edges and a collapsed bit of rock. The noble human fought away here just to die. Magda. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. She's my sis. No matter. Your mother will soon share your fate, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood. They're already dead. Did she mean my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She wants to torment you. Don't listen to her. This fight is too easy. She's toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away. Yeah, I'll say it was too easy. Like, they were literally dead but before she finished talking. Literally dead before she finished talking. Alright, what do we got? We got uh, Fork Lightning. Electric damage turns to fire, blah blah blah, not interested. Uh, time slow, time shell, increase potency of moon reduction, reduces potency. Slow time is now cast at your target location. I can deal with it being where I'm standing. That's not too much of an issue. Meteor, thunder crash, remove the deadly delay before meteor comes down into lightning. That's okay. Another one for you. Flash reduces cooldowns of explosives. Explosive blast damage turns into lightning. What is what is with wizards and lightning? Dumb. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out, sir. Is this better than that? Fifty fifty five point seven plus eleven fifteen increased attack speed fifty five point three no that's better. Okay, teleporting back. To go back. Leah, you seem like too normal a girl to be caught up in such madness. Do you think I'm not holding my own? I think he meant it as a compliment. 
Oh, I am returning to town. Oh, well, uh huh. What is happening? Oh, I thought something bad was going to happen for some reason. Uncle Deckard and I traveled all over the world in my youth, looking for lost lore and artifacts. It was so exciting, crawling around ancient temples, digging through forgotten crypts. I feel fortunate that Uncle Deckard raised me the way he did, the things I learned from him. But now I... I don't know. I see what his obsession with his quest has cost him. Has cost us. Oh. The world stone was an ancient artifact of immense power. It was used not only to create our world, but also to control mankind. The original humans were known as the Nephilim, and their power was such that it was feared they would tip the balance in the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells. So the world stone was tuned to lessen our powers, turning mankind into what we are today. But now that it has been destroyed, it is conceivable that the powers of the Nephilim will reappear. That's totes us, by the way. Just in case that wasn't already apparent. Tyrael was forced to destroy the world stone when Baal, the Lord of Destruction, corrupted it in his attempt to control all of mankind. The world stone's destruction must have unleashed incredible energies. It obliterated Mount Ariat, the mountain that housed it, leaving only a smoking crater in its place. And nothing has been heard from Tyrael since. Oh, really? Hmm. I heard that you took Leah on your searches for ancient artifacts and tomes. Wasn't that dangerous? Not as dangerous as you might think. There was a calm about the world then. Most people paid no mind to an old man and young girl, weaponless and penniless, crossing their land. Weaponless, she has a bow right there. We were only a step ahead of Magda, but now we have the second sword piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah. Uh, Brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. The ferryman on the river sticks? Do you know anything about this coven? I cannot say, but there is something about them. A darkness that is known to me. A darkness? That's a little vague, isn't it? The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. If you're going to fight, you'll need your sword. Probably. Most likely. It's possible. You shouldn't waste time chasing women. Waste? Time is scarcely better spent. But you do not keep any of them. I've only found one worth keeping, but she slipped away from me. Still, you shouldn't bother every woman who crosses your path. Well, no. Sometimes they should bother me. <laughs> What is up, Hadric? I lived in Chaldeum not too long ago. You said you were there with your father? Yes. He was a diplomat. We had a manor with servants and terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. Did it? No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. Mm. I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. Literally everyone is from Chaldeum. Like, everyone is from Chaldeum. I don't know why. They're all from Chaldeum. It does, I'm not sure if that's coincidence or what, but like, literally everyone you talk to are like, I came from Chaldeum. Like, why are you here? Why are you here? What was bad with Chaldeum? Everyone keeps saying how much they love Chaldeum, how it was great and awesome, and everyone's like, Yeah, it was, it was amazing. I want to go back there. Why did you leave? When we retrieved the stranger's second sword piece, Magda found us. She's always on our heels. Who is she? She claims to know my mother, but how could that be? Regardless, we must beat her to Wortham in the final piece of the sword. 
Oh, there she goes again. Were I not a happily married man, I'd let her take me on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's aching to haul an old Koopa with a bald spot around. Be my guest. <laughs> a bald spot? Are you sure his head looks pretty well haired to me? Is, is... Okay, I'm not sure if that sentence makes sense. Vile things transpire even as we speak. I see a town in flames and an old friend paying the ultimate price to reveal the truth. This is not news to me. Oh, do you have this sight as well? No, I... never mind. Okay. I was thinking... Don't hurt yourself. I was thinking that we should try to recruit more soldiers. What happens if we get attacked again? We just spent a week fighting off hundreds of walking corpses outside our impenetrable gates. We're the hardest bastards within a hundred miles. Who's going to attack us? Well, I don't, know. I don't like what's going on around here. Too many new faces. The dead rising from their graves were no picnic. But at least they kept the strangers away. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I, I see how it is. I'll let the zombies eat you next time. God, people are so ungrateful. I can see the fires even from here. Word them burns. <sighs> it is only the truly evil who force the innocents to suffer for a battle they have no part in. Alrighty then. Well, uh, apparently Wortham is on fire. But... We will get to Wortham in the next episode because I am out of time. So, thank you, Gent and Gentuses, for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more episodes that I've done, click on the annotations wherever I put them. If you have any comments or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. The sun has been in my eyes for the past five minutes. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye Uh, hey, what's up? Oh, Things are so weak in this game. Oh no! Humans with daggers! Say it ain't so, humans, no! Anastasione! Yeah, 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 yeah.